All right, YouTube, what I'm showing you is how to measure and see if your, your coil is good or bad. All right, so we just finished over there at the truck checking the MSDA 6L box, and now we're going to measure to make sure this thing is putting out what it should be. So I'm going to measure across these top two posts here. As you can see, it's showing crazy, crazy resistance. It should be reading around, I think it said 4.5. No, it should be reading around 1.5 to 2 ohms. And as you can see, this thing is it's looking pretty normal now. But that's about where it should be. But it'll be dancing a whole lot. This is the reason I went probably to replace it. So right here, this is your primaries. You want to measure your primaries right here for primaries that's going to give you your primary resistance which is looked up on your manufacturer's website for the coil and then you want to measure your secondary and that's putting it from the middle post to either one of the outside posts either one it doesn't matter all right so and as you can see here that there's a K up there because you should be reading high high resistance for your primary to secondary because the secondary windings intensifies everything by a lot and this um, MSD Blaster 3 coil is rated at 5,000 on the secondary and the one that I replaced it with which is an Excel is rated at 10,000 so I'm actually getting a stronger spark now but yeah I went ahead and I replaced this MSD Blaster 3 coil and as you can see it's putting out as it should be on the on the primary, on the secondary side, it's just real flaky when it comes to the primary. And like I say, you measure the primary from both of the outside um, connections, on the, which is located on the coil. And that's what I'm getting. It's fluctuating from. It should be around two, yeah, right about there. But it jumps around a lot. That's why I went ahead and replaced it. So. And also, I don't like this style because look at all that movement right there. It gives you too much room to be guessing something wrong. So, another reason why I replaced it. Hey, uh, YouTube, this is your boy Kurt. A roll coming to you, you know, with a little bit on the Chevrolet R10. We just tested the MSDA, MSD 6L box as well as the coil. And I hope this video was helpful to you. Your boy sign it out. I'm gonna keep the videos coming. And hey, get on it. Get your vehicle right. Do it yourself.